what is going on everybody and this is going to be my thoughts on the plants vs zombies garden warfare 2 multiplayer beta that just came out yesterday now i really love the first garden warfare game when that game was first revealed a couple of years ago i honestly didn't know what to think because the plants vs zombies series was originally a puzzle game so when you take a puzzle game and then you make a spin-off game of it that's going to be like a Call of Duty slash Battlefield type game. It makes you wonder if it's actually going to work or not. The A good example that's like this is kind of like Kingdom Hearts. Like you take Final Fantasy and then you take Disney and you combine them and you wonder if it's the combination is going to work. Well, it did for Kingdom Hearts. And it also did for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. The first Garden Warfare game is a lot of fun. It's actually one of the most underrated multiplayer games in the past few years, in my opinion. So, when they announced that they were making a sequel to this game, I immediately got excited. Because I wanted to see if they could take all the good things that was in the first Garden Warfare game, and perhaps... Make it even bigger and better. Now, I understand that this is a beta. And I know that this isn't going to be the final product. There's going to make, they're going to make some changes. So I'm well prepared for that. But I have to say, what I've experienced in the Garden Warfare 2 beta, I am pleasantly surprised. When you look at a sequel of a game, you expect the sequel to be better than the original game. You expect it to take all the good things from the first game and keep them in and then add in improvements and add in even better things. And while this is a beta, they did that with Garden Warfare 2. I think the biggest improvement for Garden Warfare 2 is the leveling system. Now, in the first Garden Warfare game, the leveling system, I have to admit, was not that good. In order to level up in the first Garden Warfare game, you had to complete challenges with each type of plant and zombie. And you had to do three challenges, and once you completed all three challenges, you went up a level. I know you're probably thinking that sounds kind of ridiculous. It honestly was. Some of the challenges ranged from being incredibly easy to being incredibly hard to being just you have to be lucky. And if you know me, I hate anything that's luck based. I do. Anything in gaming I just, that's luck based, I immediately hate. I mean, even the developers even knew it was ridiculous because they had added in a system where you could spend points and get rid of a challenge or just skip to the next level so even they knew it was kind of ridiculous in garden warfare 2 you just get experience points and then you level up that plant or zombie very simple very effective it's a welcoming change that was desperately needed in this game what i also like about this is that they added a lot more different kinds of plants and zombies and they're all very different. I mean, you got your average plant and zombie, but then you got your close range plants and zombies. Then you got your long range. There's just, and then you got your support classes. There's just all these different types of plants and zombies to choose from. As compared to the first game where there was only a few. There is a lot more in Garden Warfare 2. And they kept all the original zombies and plants from the first game. So, and another interesting change I really like about this is that there's a hub world. And the first thing that comes to mind when I think of the hub world is the hub world that was in Destiny. And even though I had my issues with Destiny, that's the one thing I liked about it. I liked the fact that there was a hub world for all your different things, as opposed to a generic menu that you see in most games. I like that. It, 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 it feels more inviting, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's about it. There's really not much else to say about 
Garden Warfare 2 is beta. Except that it will feel like the first Garden Warfare game, but with some much needed improvements. I highly recommend you checking this out. It is free to download on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So, alright, let me know what your thoughts are on this, and until next time, have a good one.